Hello everyone. So I took the weekend off on Friday. I sprained my wrist. Um, I was scootering with Gavin. I made a video. It actually happened right after the video I made on Friday where I said I was going to be taking the weekend off. Shortly after that we went on a scooter ride. Um, and in that video I said that I was doing the heavy metal detox and I was super itchy. Well, I was trying to scratch an itch while riding through the woods on my scooter and I hit something that had like fallen I guess in the storm and yeah um I flew over top of my handlebars and blocked my whole body weight from coming down with my wrist so I landed on my wrist and a little bit on the top of my head but luckily I landed on my wrist so that I didn't land completely on the top of my head um always wear a helmet yeah so could have been a lot worse. Um, I went to urgent care the following day. I did sprain my wrist. Um, it's not broken or torn like I thought it was, which is good. Um, it actually doesn't really hurt that bad anymore. It's probably like 50% compared to what it was. It was hurting pretty bad the first little bit. Um, yeah, so that's the update. That's the catch up. I'm totally fine. I just needed to take the weekend off. Um, I was, it's more just like frustration than anything. Um, but I have a plan now so we're good i am going to i did a couple short videos on tiktok but i didn't post them here because i didn't want everyone to be like what's going on with your arm and i just didn't feel like really talking about it yet so um i'm going to now attach the videos that i did for tiktok to this video i did a couple like little news and reverse pieces and a couple things about burning man i'm just gonna put it all into one um all this little stuff that i've done here and there as i've had to <laughs> energy to over the last couple days. Um, I'm going to do personal readings today and tomorrow. I'm going to do three and three and then starting Wednesday I'll be able to go a little faster because my son will be back in school. Um, and then I'm probably going to start catching up on other readings Wednesday as well. Maybe I'll do like a true crime and a news in, in reverse towards the end of the week. But I just need to take it slow a couple days because this is the arm that I shuffle with and holding it the shuffling direction um i can only do for so long so just bear with me for this week uh, i should be i feel mostly better by next week but we'll see so yeah lesson learned always wear a helmet those scooters are not meant to be riding through the woods so if you got one based off of my previous recommendation don't ride it through the woods um yeah lesson learned so i'm just gonna insert all the other videos now and i will be back later today with a personal um reading group i just got a download when i read this um and i want to check it with cards i fell and saw in a dream a flip last night this aligns with the dream that i had two nights ago released yeah there's been a released um data download for light workers uh-huh okay um so here's the thing i felt and saw in a dream a flip last night if they know either what needs to happen for the flip to occur or what time the flip is going to occur and they don't want to attribute that to god they would have to work up everything on the planet so that when this flip occurs they can blame it on war coming out of the tunnel like a football game all the pieces coming together so everything all the pieces coming together needs to happen at the same time so that when there is that flip they can use that as an opportunity to also create whatever kind of energetic bang or shake or whatever it is they're trying to do that at the exact time that the flip occurs to try and see if in the state of switching and vulnerability because the only time that it would be vulnerable would when it be switching because otherwise it's stationary and you know you can't get in so they're trying to, when it's flipping the polarity shake or break the sky ice wall passed down from generation to generation 
The devil is an artificial intelligence source. That's why everyone can get so fooled. And once you're in, you can't get out. They're trying to use, because the devil, the artificial intelligence source, knows why it's doing what it's doing, but tricks man into following plans for a different reason. So, they're going to try and break through the sky ice or the, the firmament at the time that the polarity of the planet shifts so that they can try and disguise that it's God's doing. Because we can't get out of the firmament. That was our gift from God for protection. Because if they could get out they would just ruin it all. Yeah. So I sprained my arm yesterday and it has led me to a life-changing revelation. Um, I don't even know if you'd say revelation. I don't know what you'd call it. Anyway, um, my arm hurts pretty bad, right? I flipped over handlebars of a scooter and to block my head from hitting the ground, I put my, my arm. So it took my entire body weight in between my arm and the ground. Anyway, ouch, right? So the pain, and I'm not taking anything for it, has been kind of bad, um, and I have a lot to do. So I've kind of been getting myself in the right mindset to not be like overwhelmed by it, especially my brain hyper-focuses on things. So I've come to the realization that I just keep asking myself when I'm like, oh my gosh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I'm like, does it hurt? so bad or does it hurt and you're so aware that it hurts because pain is pain your brain as in my brain or your brain in your case is assigning the intensity or the level to it so every time I'm like because I had to go out and get my son a bunch of stuff for school and I had to have like all the bags and my one arm and I'm like oh my god my arm is gonna fall off it hurts and every time I just kept asking myself like does it hurt so bad or does it hurt and you are so hyper focused on it that you're assigning increased intensity to it because your increased focus is on it anyway this has been life-changing for me because now i can get through the shit that i need to get through for the rest of the day um, and I've been kind of doing it with other stuff too. Like, is it so annoying or are you just needing to focus on something else? It works for everything. Anyway, life hack. If you are dealing with pain and you want a mantra to help, I sprayed my wrist and I made a mantra that is helping. This mantra is the pain is over there and I'm over here. The pain is in a different room. Pain is over there and I'm over here. The pain is in a different room. Boom done looking into what is going on with burning man um the rain is it weather manipulation hands tied yes um nothing we can do hands tied weather manipulation the point was to trap everybody frozen yeah because they're freezing in the desert um frozen also in terms of unleashing something it's almost like there's a virus this is all alleged my opinion not facts it's almost like there's a virus being unleashed and they're disguising it as the whatever they're saying ebola or whatever it is that feels like a rumor, okay? But it feels like there is a real something that's being spread, but it's almost like it needs to incubate and then they let everyone go. And then when they let everyone go, it activates and that spreads. Coming back from the dead, is it COVID?
So it's not the type of outbreak that they're saying, and it's not, I mean, while there may be something going around, they may have unleashed a little bit of something to cover up for the real thing, but it feels like what is really happening is they're trapping everyone, then they're gonna spread a variant and then release everyone and say that it is because of Burning Man that it spread. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Burning Man, we're going with a god mockery. Oh, Jesus mockery. Yeah. Um... Oh, Jesus mockery because um, Burning Man and also trapping them in by water is like, Jesus, no flood, but here's the flood and look, he's not coming to save you. Um, so basically, they want to blame it on all the people that are at the festival as to why there is a variant spreading so rapidly because everybody comes from all over the world to this and then they're witnessing all of this happening and everyone trapped in their tents or their shelter and not being able to shower and having to go to the bathroom all over the ground because the the porta potties are full like stuff like that what a better way to blame a spread or an outbreak on all the dirty people who were doing drugs and just walking around in filth. It's their fault. False flag in reverse came out in between. So yes, all the pieces, once everyone separates and goes back to where they came from, there's gonna be a major outbreak and guess where it's gonna be traced back to? Burning Man. Because everybody there is like in the state of love, not fear. What a better way to mock than use a gathering of love to inspire fear through mockery of Burning Man and Flood. Um, what else do we need to know? Okay, so the rumor that's going around about an outbreak is not necessarily all the way correct. And whatever is going around that is a sickness is meant to just, just be enough to cover up for what's really going on because they can't actually trap everyone there for a long period of time because then they can't make it go out and spread. So this outbreak has to be not bad enough that they can still release everyone without having to quarantine them. Is that fair to say? Hired, yeah. Um, bringing somebody in. It's almost like they're trying to see if they can force everyone to have to take some kind of thing to be able to leave. Uh-uh, not take something and able to leave. They're giving themselves an excuse to track everyone at the festival so they can then say, this is why, this person is why the outbreak is in this area because this person was at the festival. Alive. Mm -hmm. It's their fault. Not ours, not the people in power. That's all I'm allowed to know. Oh, deep state universe. Okay, please remember this is all alleged. My opinion, not facts. That kind of reminds me of something. It just hit me. 
higher levels of consciousness can be unlocked through certain substances. And then you distract the person and you seep in and access the consciousness. They're energy harvesting. Evil exposed. Trap everyone and harvest their energy until you get it all that you can. And then after they're depleted because you've harvested their energy because they were in a state of love, you've harvested their energy. And right before you let them leave, you hit them with some kind of virus when they're down because you trapped them, harvested their energy, and then released them in a vulnerable state. And then it spreads. Allegedly, my opinion. This is going to be a news prediction coming in the next two weeks. All alleged, my opinion, not back. That uh, big wave that's developing near all the other hurricanes. Bioweapon exposed. This isn't literal water. There's about to be a major COVID outbreak. COVID outbreak at the same time as another natural disaster. Mm -hmm. So my son said, Alexa, what time is it? What time is it? Something in their plan didn't work and they have to correct it. What didn't work? party. Oh. Biden's response to Hawaii was supposed to start some kind of like riot? Uncovered. They need him to mess up worse. Yes, accomplice, a partner in crime in reverse. So this, that part of their plan didn't work. So what are they gonna do to correct that? A pandemic? Yep. And the missing piece is that's going to be added in with the pandemic. Grandparents? Oh. Uh combination of BRICS, the currency change thing, plus pandemic, because we're going to need something that's going to be under the BRICS thing. And in order to get it, you're going to need to sign up for some kind of government thing. Otherwise, the price is going to be like, like, it'll be like sign up or death. Allegedly, my opinion. Re real death. Fake death in reverse is real death. It'll be sign up or die because you, because 
the average person won't be able to afford it. Did a reading before about the three days of darkness and how it's going to be a battle between good and evil. This is a different but same situation. What comes through the portal as this virus is unleashed? Can't get away. What comes through the portal as the virus is unleashed? A natural disaster because then they can shut down air planes break up yeah oh shut down country to country travel not a lot not yeah um i i want to know more but i'm feeling very strongly that i'm not supposed to know anything else right now is that correct market manipulation I don't know where that is going. Market manipulation, spouse, partner in reverse. Someone is going to cut us off right before this happens and that's the warning. Anger exposed. What are they angry with us about? Ritual exposed. Hawaii. Serial killer exposed. Is that correct? Wouldn't want to be in their shoes. Yeah, okay. Uh... Please remember this is all alleged my opinion, not fact. And cause mass panic. Because they learned how to get us in that state of mind. After the storm, does the outbreak happen? No time at all, right? It happens right away, almost simultaneously. Movement. Allegedly, my opinion, there's going to be a storm coming in that's going to be really bad. Then immediately after, there's going to be a really bad COVID outbreak, worse than we saw the first time. They're going to blame it on the fact that there was storms and everybody moving around and it must have been here, it must have been there. And it's basically then going to have an excuse to spread rampantly through the whole country because they're going to say that it's because of everybody moving around because of all the chaos. Is that fair to say? Um, because then they have an excuse as to why it's spreading so quickly and so rapidly. Well, it's your guys' fault because you're all moving around because the fires and the storm. Um, the example that I'm getting in my head is if you have like a bunch of rats in a little lab study and you like, I don't know dump like oil on one of the rats heads so then like the other rats running around and like gets a little oil on this guy and gets a little oil on this guy and then all of a sudden all the rats are like stuck in the oil like that's the image that i'm getting of what they're trying to set up and it happens simultaneously at like this whole september strike thing because it, it's basically them trying to be like, you don't stand a chance against us because look at all this stuff at once. What are you going to do? You need to comply. Government is closed media. Government controlled media exposed. 
has been the plan the whole time for it to all coincide all at once so that there could be fires, um, unexpected once in a hundred year storm in California. And then boom, hurricane season hits. Everybody starts getting hit with hurricanes and at the same time, major COVID outbreak. That's why they're already preparing us for the COVID outbreak so that when it happens, they can be like, but it's your fault. We'll help you sign up for digital currency, sign up for this and that we'll help you, but it's your fault. Corruption. is the um, epithet of goddess of love and beauty, Aphrodite. If I was, let's say, trying to mock people of faith, And I was in charge of naming things. I might pre program all the people for this plan by telling them a story through how I named things about how there was going to be this new variant that basically is like an egg where the male impregnates the female and then the female gives birth to behold the son and then i'd mock a little further by naming this beholding of the sun after the goddess of love because it's the opposite of what this plan is to suck out all the love so that the world is in a state of fear Allegedly, my opinion. Have a good day. Okay, so just hear me out, right? If we are all knowing in our truest essence, but we've been removed from that because the Creator made us in His own image. Okay. So then the devil has had a very long time to convince us that we are not that powerful. In ancient times, they remembered. We don't remember. In order to harness someone's energy, you have to tell them that you're doing it, right? That's why the elite always have to do the pre-programming and letting us know of their plans and stuff. So what if this entire time, the plan was just to convince all of humanity that we were crazy for reading the signs that are so clearly right in front of our face to put as many people to sleep as possible convince those who could see it that they were crazy or tried to convince them that they're crazy and convince everyone else to call them crazy because in order to harness the energy you have to be told what is happening If you look around, we are clear as day being told what is happening. Because relationships in your life, right? What someone says, their words, if they match their actions, then okay. If words go this way and actions go that way, they don't match 
it doesn't matter what those words were because the action overtakes. We are being clear as day told what is going on. We're just not believing it because we're not looking at all of history and using our brains because we've been convinced that either we're crazy or we're looking too much into it. And that is the entire, per- that was the point the entire time was to get to this point. So that we could be told clear as day what's happening and not believe it. Because if we believed it and we knew what was happening based off of what they were telling us, which is that we've been sold out and that we're in the midst of being captured, just like every other time in history when these type of things were going down, then we would do something about it, right? We're just waiting to see how close we get. It's a bad idea. And if you're wondering why it is that way, one of the reasons is so that it's not trickery and it's not owed back karmically. Basically, the devil is trying to harness enough energy to outsmart God. Because the devil is artificial intelligence and that's what it was designed to do. In my opinion. Think of it like this, and maybe this is just my personal take on it. But if if God sat me down at a table and said to me, this is a list of everything that happened in 2023, what would you have liked me to do to have been more clear with the alignment of the things that were going to be happening when I said that these things would happen? What else, what else would you have liked me to do that I, that I said I was going to do and that I didn't do? And I'd say, well, there's nothing. It was exactly like described. That's what I mean.